So I wanted to share where my 24 is currently at. I wanted to retain the stock body wheels and tires, try to get to perform without the band-aid of a good set of wheels and tires. Um, so, uh, first off, couldn't find the right size link, so just took a heat gun to these, and that's my high clearance link. Um, chopped a bit of the body off, got it to as low as I can where it touches the top of the shocks. Uh, I lowered the front tab as low as I can. Um, chopped the front of the body off like my old AX10. Um, I used some extra plastic. Built a little tab there. Kind of centers the body a little better. It goes into that little tab. Goes into the sides and then Velcro's down in the back. I might change that to magnets later on. Um, but yeah, it's just a little limited the uh, the shocks. I use these Dubro replacement crimps. Dubro 895. I've got to right high about 44 millimeters from eye to eye on the shocks. Um, I have pretty good luck with the stock servos. I know a lot of people don't like them, but stock servos, um, this outer piece, the hole down the middle, I um, reamed it to the size of the shoulder of that screw. Um, pretty much screw it in pretty flush. Uh, servo saver still works pretty good, but it's got a lot more steering authority. Um, I did uh, Mike Mann had told me to you know chop it down, get some weight a little lower and more forward. Had to go with these Gen Zace, um, they're labeled Adventure now, but this was when they were bashing um, some 400 milliamp batteries. Uh, Furitec Iguana, little micro receiver to work with my Spectrum radio. And then uh, stiffened up the rear springs with the Stiffest silver spring from uh, like double barrel shocks. Uh, add a little weight in the front. Try to keep it pretty light, but add some weight in the front with the trio knuckles. Um, the plus four hexes. Um, if you get the cheap ones, you're going to have to shave them down so that they don't bind on to the bearings when you tighten all the way so these are pretty free rolling um there's universals in there hard to see but you get a ton more steering angle um also shaved the housings but they work pretty good all right Tech Lizard did the power hobby motor. It's got a lot more power, but it's the same size as like a stock stock motor, and it's a little smoother as far as
pretty happy with the way it is right now um if i i have a bunch of set of wheels and tires so if i'm on a surface that needs it i can change it but, um, for now pretty happy with the way it is yeah sits ride height's pretty good uh, limited the flex by like half so gets right above the rear tire it's kind of where i like all my cars um, and that's it <laughs>